What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a huge power Azumarill team that also features Life Orb Eternatus. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. I give a huge shout out to everybody supporting me as a content creator. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my man Joshua. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to leave me Twitter teams or teams, just send them over to onto my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. Jeans Dash YouTube over on Twitter. Like I said, I got the link in the description. Either tweet me or DM me. I love to check out the teams and I love using fan teams. So chances are I will be using your guys' team. But uh now let's get started with the, today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Azumarill. This Pokemon is really, really cool, especially due to its ability, huge power. I think it uh gives a huge uh huge boost to his attack stat. So it's really, really good on the physical attacking side. We have Assault Vest as item, and then we're rocking Play Rough. Liquidation both for Stab, and then we got Dig and Ice Punch for two lovely coverage moves. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Eternatus over here with the Pressure and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Dynamax Cannon, which does double damage to Dynamax Pokemon, Sludge Bomb for Stab, Flamethrower for its Lonesome coverage move, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Sableye, a great little support mod. I shouldn't just say Sableye. This is a Jack Button Sableye. So it has Trick, it can hand off the Jack Button, and we can force an Oppose in Pokemon to swap out. It's got Prankster for first turn priority, and it's got Foul Play, Quash, Trick like we already mentioned, and then it's got Ally Switch to protect Ally Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Regilecki, and Regilecki just works so well in a lot of different situations. It's got the Transistor ability, it's got the Focus Sash as an item, and the Track and Rise and Voltage for big stab damage, E-Web for speed control, Eerie Impulse for special attack drops, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Calyrex over here with the spell tag. I should say Shadow Rider Calyrex with the spell tag, but it has the As One ability, and I've been seeing a lot more Calyrexes. Rock Spell Tag. I don't know why. I guess it just gets that nice little boost for that ghost damage. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are using Spell Tag Calyrex as of now. So cannot wait to use them yet again. It's got Astral Barrage, Palm Puff, Substitute, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Whimsicott over here with Prankster and Mental Herb. It's rocking Energy Ball for Stab, Cotton Spore, Taunt, and Tailwind. Guys, if you want to rank the team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Azumarill and Life Orb Eternatus team. First battle coming at you guys. Let's get rolling here with this amazing squad. We're going up against a Kyogre, Tornadus, and Zassian team with Landorus, Kartana, and Amoogus. So very heavy meta. Hopefully we can start off with a big fat W. But how should I play this one? How should I lead it? I feel like Calyrex is always a solid lead. It just does so much work and it can outspeed pretty much anybody on his team. But the thing is, I got to watch out for Tailwind here. He has Tailwind. He can definitely pop it into it. So I might just go with Wimscott just to counteract that Tailwind and uh, get a little bit of speed on our side. So I could go Wimscott alongside with Regilecki. Could definitely be to play. It could definitely be to play. But the problem would be if he goes Kyogre, which I think he's going to do, then he can kind of just hard swap in that Landers. I could go Calyrex. It's like, we know Calyrex can outspeed. We know this lovely Calyrex can outspeed. He doesn't have a fake out mod. He does have a Rage Powder Pokemon, but I think Calyrex is fine just dropping some spell tag shots. Right? It sounds really good. It sounds really good. You know, I'm going to lead him, and then I'm going to bring Eternatus in the back, and I might just go eat Azumarill here. Just like an Azumarill, but again, a Pokemon like uh, Kartana over here can do some work. It could definitely do some work. But we do have Flamethrower on Eternatus, which would be four times super effective on Kartana. But I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's get this Calyrex as a nice thing. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, what Pokemon do you guys think needs an extra typing? I'll give you guys an example. Groudon should not just be ground type. He should be ground and fire. His extra typing should be fire. That's a good example. I feel like he definitely needs extra typing. You guys let me know if you guys have any other ones in the comment section down below. But he does end up leading the Kyogre, which I'm totally fine with. Which I'm totally fine with. I'm just going to drop an Astro Barrage, and we're just going to get after it. I might protect Kyogre, but it's all good if he does. He could try to taunt me. He could definitely try to taunt me here. But I have Mental Hurt. I have the lovely Mental Hurt. I could actually set up a sub here. I could go for the sub setup. I could definitely go for the sub setup. But I'm just going to go for a nice little Tailwind here. And I think I'm just going to poke an Astro Barrage. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I should risk it by trying to set up a substitute and reading and protect. I just feel like we just we just have to go into a shot. He's going to tail when he could be Choice Scarf. That could be a Choice Scarf Kyogre. Or he could actually Dynamax. And that could be rough if he Dynamaxes, which I think he's going to do. He does not. Okay. So I was going to say, my my uh, my Calyx over here doesn't have Focus Ash. So we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. If he's not Choice Scarf, my uh, Calyx at Speeds, which is gorgeous. And he's not. So gorgeous. So... Astro Barrage is going to poke out here. We're going to do some nice damage on both these guys. So hopefully this Kyogre is going for a Water Spout. 
I really do hope. He does go for a water spout. We should be able to eat that up with the with the damage that he did. Yeah. Beautiful. We get some damage off on there. Um at this point, I'm just gonna ash the barrage and then poke into an energy ball, right? Just poke straight into an energy ball. And I'm surprised it didn't do that much damage over onto the uh over onto that Kyogre right there. That is a little surprising. That is a little surprising. But a solid first turn from us. Like I said, we got off some nice little chip damage. The so water spout wasn't doing its full spout. You guys know a full, a full health Kyogre using water spout. Definitely do you dirty. It definitely do you dirty. But we're gonna see what he ends up doing here. Tornados would be faster than us. But Caldex should go first on the So I feel like Wimscott should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. And he's gonna end up actually hard swapping him. And what's he gonna go into? He's gonna go into here. He's gonna go into Muga. So I guess he's just here to like start rage powdering shots. And no, he's gonna straight up Dynamax. A little bit of Dynamax action for him. Okay. So he's gonna straight up Dynamax. I'm kinda cool with that. At this point, I can just taunt the Moogus, which I'll probably do next turn. I'll taunt the Moogus just so I can get out like a Pokemon like Eternatus, who can outspeed him and drop a Dynamax cannon, which would be not very effective, but it can still do some nice damage. But I just, I just feel like we're I feel like we're thriving here. I feel like we, we're, we're, we're sitting in a decent spot. Clash of is gonna poke here, chip up some mean damage onto that. Energy Ball's gonna fly, chip up some mean damage onto that. And now he's going to probably take out my Calyx, right? We'll get a crit. Good work, Wimscott. He's gonna go for a Hailstorm. Are you gonna take out here? He's not, he's gonna leave. Okay. He's gonna leave my Wimscott on the field. That's surprising. That is super surprising. Honestly, that's super, super surprising. That is super, super surprising. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. Still have Azumarill in the back, which I can just save for a nice little Dynamax. Um, we're hoping he's not rocking Kartana, because Kartana could be scary. Do I or do I just Dynamax him right here, right now? I could do. I could definitely just uh, Dynamax him. I'm thinking of doing just Dynamax and Azumarill, getting after it. I like it. I dig it. Yo, look at my, look at him. Shiny, too. I'm just going to Dynamax Azumarill. I'm going to get right after it with Azumarill, and I'm just going to go for a, uh, a Quake, I feel like. Right? I feel like a Quake's going to be the play. Uh, he probably has physical attackers in the back, so Quake maybe not, might not be the play. They could obviously double down, but I feel like a what's called going to come out here. I feel like a, uh, a Rage Powder is going to come out. So there's no point in doubling down in the Kyogre. I just say we Astro Barrage, bring Amoongus' health rather low, and then just take him out and get the special defense boost. I'm with it. I'm cool with it. I'm down with it. Maybe he'll guard the what's called. Maybe he'll guard the Kyogre, which, which could definitely benefit us. But yeah, I also feel like we have to get rid of the Moongus because like spores and stuff. It's definitely just a threat. But yeah, I could have brought out Eternatus, but I, I want to save Eternatus for Kartana. If he has Kartana, you know? It could definitely be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. But we're going to end up Dynamaxing our lovely little Azumarill here. Huge power Azumarill. This thing does some work. It does some work. And hopefully we can, just, uh, we can start taking this battle away. We can just start ripping with this battle. So let's see how this one plays. He's going to end up going for a... Protect with the Moongus. Wow. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Not, not expecting it one bit. Not one bit. Astro is going to poke here. Another one will take him out, but I feel like Kyogre just takes out my uh, Calyrex here, right? Changes the weather back. And he's going to get thriving. Yeah, so Calyrex is going to get dumped on here. We can bring out Eterns just to pretty much finish off this Kyogre, but... Wow. Protect the Moongus. That's, that's a surprise. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that one bit. Was not expecting that one bit. We'll go for the quake. We'll take the special defense boost all day. But it's just for my zoom around now, which kind of stinks. But still, we thrive with it. We thrive with it because this Kyogre's Dynamax turns are gone. They are indeed gone. They are indeed gone and out of here. Oh, this one's gonna be close. It's gonna be a real close battle. We'll bring out Eternatus. Eternatus is rather fast. He's, he's on the faster side. Um, he, he definitely has Zassy in the back end, which Zassy is scaring me, but. We'll figure out a way around it. We'll figure out a way around it all day. Now I can definitely Rage Powder. Uh, at this point, what do I do? What do I do? Do I just Starfall? I think he's going to Rage Powder. I think I just Starfall. Set the terrain. Get rolling from there. Yeah, I'm going to Starfall. And then, uh... Good Dynamax can. Actually, let's reverse this. Actually, Starfall won't take him out. Actually, we can just Hailstorm. I'll Hailstorm. Just get Buffets out on field. I'll Hailstorm over on that. And I would just Dynamax Cannon over onto him because I know that uh, Eternatus is faster. 
And it's going for the Rage Powder. You little biscuit. Hopefully, Dynamax Cannon can actually take him out. And Starfall. Or, uh... Ooh, Hailstorm might not be able to take out the Kyogre, which is scary. Did not think this one through. Did not think the Rage Powder thought through. But this should be able to KO. Should be a good turn for us. All right, see you later, Moogus. Yeah, solid little turn for us. Dude, Dynamax Cannon is ridiculous. It's ridiculously strong. Kyogre's probably going to take out Eternatus, which kind of sucks. No, I guess we're lightning into Azumarill. So, Azumarill, you should be able to eat this. You have a Soul Fest, yeah. And you're both. So, I, I like that turn a lot. I like that turn a lot. A lot, a lot. Electric Train's going to come out here. I know he has some speed. I know he does have some speed running across with him. Now, we're just going to drop a Hailstorm. And this is probably not going to KO. This is probably not going to KO. It does not. It does not. But Buff is going to start chipping away. Buffets can definitely start chipping away, but we do change up the weather, which is really good because now Thunder cannot hit 100% of the time if he wants to go for a Thunder. But we'll take Buffets. It's fine. It's fine. He will go down next turn to Buffets. I think. I think when he uh, ends up stopping diamond maxing. That was the end of Tailwind. Wow, Tailwind. This this match has only been four turns. That's wild. This, ba this match seems like it's been going on for a good bit. But we know he has Tornadoes in the back, which already has a lot of damage done onto itself. Um... I think he turned just can outspeed that. Just curious on, on what we should go into here. I could protect my turn just I definitely could do that. I could definitely do that. And so he's gonna poke into him, and at this point we gotta we gotta get the double kill. We have got to get the double kill. So I think I might change the terrain into uh, a little bit of fairy action here. A little bit of fairy action here. We're gonna roll into this, or I can geyser it. I, I am gonna geyser it. I want to take out this Kyogre and set rain. I feel like rain could really, 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 really benefit us. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna roll into a, I guess, a sludge bomb here. Or Dynamax Cannon would probably be our best bet. That's the most damage. Oh, but he could swap an assassin. He's gonna end up going for Tanwin. Ooh, Tanwin doing his dirty. What's he going for with Kyogre here? He can go for Thunder, and that is exactly why changing the weather was beautiful. He missed the Thunder. Dynamax Cannon's gonna poke through here. We're gonna end up setting in rain now. And his Pokemon, his last Pokemon is probably Zassian, so the Tailwind really didn't matter. He outspent us anyway. And now it turns into a 2v1 situation. Which is a little rough for us, I'm not gonna lie. That I set the rain now. Because I would love to have Flamethrower ready to roll. Guys, just gonna fly, because we can't hit him with Dragon Move. We cannot hit him with Dragon Move. He's fairy, and then a Sludge Bomb's gonna be not very effective. So Flamethrower still might be our best bet, even in the rain. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, Zumarill's gonna be out here, and we're gonna have to start dropping some liquidations onto him. Liquidations. Beautiful, lovely little liquidations, but still, this match is it's coming down to the wire. We know it's Zacian, and we know Zacian's potential here. Here comes the final Pokemon. It's not. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that. I like that a lot, a lot. So I, I can I can Dynamax Cannon him. I can Sludge Bomb him. Liquidation can do some huge damage, even though he just intimidated us. The problem is, he's probably rocking EQ. But yeah, liquidation. Oh, what would do more? Ice punch might do more, right? Four times super fact. Yeah, yo, ice punch, run it. Oh no, ice punch. I forgot we had that. And then we'll just Dynamax Cannon. Or I could protect, but I feel like Dynamax Cannon's gonna be a play. Let's see what he does. EQ? He's gonna EQ. Azumarill, you should be able to soak that up. You turn test, maybe not. Yeah, cool. Azumarill, finish this one off for us. Thank you very much, Azumarill. That's why you're the best with the huge power. Finish this one off. He's going to take some life orb damage. That should be GG's. Ice Punch. Ice Punch to just finish you off. Huge power. See you later. Let's go. Azumarill coming in clutch in Battle 1. We got the Dynamax it, and it absolutely just ripped into that Landers for the final KO. Check this out, guys. Second battle is coming at you guys, and we're going up against one of the coolest regional forms ever. We're going up against a Galarian Rapidash team. That is so sick. Hopefully, he brings it. Hopefully, we get to go up against it, but he also has the Ice Rider Calyrex and Dialga Trick Room combo, and then he has the top of Finny, Umbreon, and Landorus. He might try to pop a Trick Room right off the rip, which leads me to just want to go straight into Calyrex. I just feel like Calyrex is going to be the play. I just think it works well all around. So, you know what? Let's rock out with Calyrex and get buzzing with that Pokemon. So, Calyrex, we could go Azumarill as a lead. Azumarill is not a bad lead at all. I just like him for that huge power. He can just do so much work. He can just do so much work. We could also lead a Pokemon like Regilecki or even Whimsicott just for taunting. Right? Taunting does sound good. You know what? I'm going to lead them too. Let's go Calyrex, Whimsicott. We'll bring Eternatus and Azumarill. Is this the same squad as first battle? I believe it is. I believe it is, but it looks like it just works so well. Wait, up against a lot of different of these Pokemon. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two and go back to back. But dude, I seriously hope... 
he brings the rat banash. I just want to see that Pokemon. I only used it a couple times on the rat glider. It was definitely a lot of fun. I believe we got some wins with it, but uh, yeah, it definitely just doesn't have the power. Considering Steel is just such a huge, uh, huge typing in the meta right now, it just gets absolutely dumped on. And his speed isn't all there either, so. Let's see who he ends up leading. Show me the Rapidash. Throw him out. Yes, yo. Rapidash. <laughs> Love it. Rapidash out and about. Gorgeous. That thing's gorgeous. It's looking purdy. It's looking real purdy. Look at that thing move. As well. We do have Cotton Spore, which is pretty solid. We do have Cotton Spore. We go Palm Puff. We have Astro Barrage, which I'm obviously just going to send. And then from here, I could Cotton Spore. Partially lowers the speed set, but we're fine on speed. Let's just taunt you. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna always oh, dark type. Never mind. What am I doing? What am I doing? Jeans! Jeans, what are you doing? What are you doing? That was dumb. That was dumb. I clicked it and then I realized it. <laughs> I was like, wait, it were prankster. We bring this thing down to Sash. I can energy ball that next shot. And I wonder what he's going for here. God dang it. Snarl comes out here. Dodge a Calyrex. Whimscott dodges it. So he's gonna lower my special special attack, which is totally fine. He's gonna pop a trick room. We trick rooms with that. That's a pretty cool play. I'll give it to him. That's a pretty cool play. Um, I guess I'll just palm puff into you. I'll try energy ball. Okay, cool. What about Umbreon's doing? Is he gonna foul play? He's gonna go for a snarl. Wow, we're getting lucky with the snarl dodges. Calyrex dodges that. I like that all day. And then what's he gonna go for with uh, Rapid Dash? He's probably double down on my Calyrex at this point. Just for a heal pulse. Hey, how dare you? How dare you do that? Heal pulses. How dare you do that? We're just gonna heal up the Umbreon. That's totally fine. We're gonna take out you, and we're just gonna palm puff. We're gonna palm puff and see how much damage a palm puff can do. How much damage can you do, palm puff? Palm puff, how much damage are you doing? Not bad, yo. Umbreon's a bulky dude. He's a bulky boy. He's a bulky boy. Yo, I'm considering like uh, dropping speed on Calyrex here. I'm really considering it. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm considering it. Cotton Sporn onto him. Can protect. Uh, he's probably gonna go for a uh, what's it called though. He's probably gonna go for a uh, a Dynamax into a Steel Spike. But obviously, I could go into a Palm Puff again. What do I want to do? I think I'm just gonna protect you. Could Cotton Spore him. Partially lowers the speed set. That ain't too bad. This will just chip up some damage, I guess. I'm, I just gotta waste out Trick Room turns at this point, you know? The Trick Room turns just have to be wasted out. But I think he does still spike into my, uh... Into my Wimscott, which is a little tough. But if Wimscott goes down here, I feel like Azumarill can really thrive out here with a Dynamax. Because you know, Snarls won't affect it. He's physical attacking. And it can do some work with, with some Max Quakes, with all that good stuff. But my, another problem would be if Dialga is with this policy. We'll see. Protects can come out here. And he's probably dropping another snarl, right? He's gonna wish. Ooh, he goes for a wishy wish. That's a nice lovely wish. Wish comes out here, and then he's just gonna straight up quick. Is that going into Calyrex? That's gotta be going into Calyrex, right? It does. Okay, cool. So solid little protect from us. Solid little protect. We are wasting out these turns. Wasting out Dynamax. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. I'll play it slow all day. I'll play it slow all day. I'm gonna go for an energy ball. We're gonna pop it. And we're gonna send it that way. We ends up wishing, so wish we're gonna come and clutch later for him. Um, I could substitute, I could palm puff. Uh, I guess we'll just palm puff. I mean, we're not really gonna do too much damage over onto the uh, onto that Dialga, but I kind of want to look for a special defense drop. But I'll just keep sending it over onto the Umbreon. This lovely little Umbreon is gonna use Snarl. We're gonna be able to soak that up, and let's see who Dialga's gonna go after. Probably Steel Spike at this point. I've been waiting for it all day. I could swap the Calyrex. Let's see, Steel Spike. No, he goes for another Quake. He's boosting special defense heavenly here. So Azumarill is really going to be thriving. But yeah, he's going to take out Calyrex. Let's get out Azumarill. Let's get Azumarill out and about here. Lovely little Azumarill. Azumarill coming out here because, you know, my boy turned to special attack and he ain't going to do much. He ain't going to do much. So we're going to definitely need my, uh, we're definitely going to need my Azumarill to get some work done here. So I could Quake, but I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of this Umbreon. It's like a, like a geyser. And there's the Wish. God dang it. God dang wish. Okay, so Zoom Rouse can come out here. We have a Soul Vest, which is nice. I could obviously quake into that, which might be a good play. Might be a good play. Zoom Rouse isn't too fast. It actually might be slower than Dialga. 
Which if it is, well, I'll take a special defense boost and roll off from there. But my problem is, I think that thing's weakness policy, and I really don't want to proc it. Miss your speed, though. Miss your speed. 71. That's solid. That's solid. You know, I am just gonna. I'm gonna quake. But actually, or I can starfall. Yeah, I'm gonna starfall into you. Let's do it. Let's starfall and energy ball. That's gonna be my play. I gotta get rid of this Umbreon. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. I probably should have quaked just for special defense boost, but I'll quake into the Alga next turn. Because we do have that Soul Fest, which shouldn't really help us eat up some shots here. So, let's do it. Let's run it. Zoom Rel, you get in another Dynamax because you were just so cool looking. Look at that thing. Golden Rabbit. <laughs> Golden Water Fairy Rabbit. Mouse. No, it's a mouse. It is a mouse. He's going to end up protecting. It's a solid little protect. Solid little protect. Can you take out my Wimscott now? Be a great turn to take out my Wimscott. Firefall is going to fly through here. Bink, bink, bink. Chip up some damage. That did a lot of damage to protect, so we know we can take him out. Um, I'm still going to Quake next turn. I'm still going to Quake next turn. We change up terrain. Gorgeous. Lovely. We love that. And what's he going to roll into? You know, for Steel Spike finally? There it is. Been waiting for that. Been waiting for that. <laughs> he Steel Spikes. He takes out my Wim Scott. That's totally fine. We have speed all day. Um, now Dynamax is over from him. So I might just double down into this Dialga here. Do we think Dialga's going to protect? No, I think Dialga's going to try to pop another Trick Room. Doesn't Trick Room end? Yeah. I think Dialga tries to pop another Trick Room. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I think Dialga tries to pop a Trick Room, and I think we should just Quake and Flame Thrower right into him. I think it's going to be our play. That might be our play. That might just be our play is double down with this Dialga. Not allow him to pop another Trick Room. Could be really, really beneficial to us. Wait, I'm liking this all day. We go there, and actually Dynamax kind of will do more damage. So I'm doubling down Dialga. I'm going to say he doesn't protect. I see he tries to pop Trick Room, and he might even swap the Umbreon. That's a bulky boy. Umbreon's too bulky, especially wishing. He might actually wish his turn, too. But we'll see. As long as he doesn't protect Dialga, I feel like this turn's going to be rather solid for us. Make a move, my guy. Make a move. Make a move, because Trick Room's gone. Trick Room is indeed gone. Let's see what he does. See what it does. No, no protect. Gorgeous. Dynamax Cannon's gonna fly here. Quake should be able to take it out. I mean, dude, this thing is bulked on the special defense board. Plus two. How much damage is this really gonna do? Well, we might not take out. We might not take out. He's gotta be going for Trick Room. Earth Power's gonna. Oh, no, he's not. That's fine. Earth Power's gonna come in hot. And then Umbreon's gonna go for a wish. Umbreon, you're a pain, dude. Such a pain. I should've. I should've. I should've Starfalled into him. Quake's gonna fly here. Let's get it. How much damage are we doing? Big damage. I like that damage. I like that damage all day. Special defense boost on top of that. And we have one more turn left in Dynamax. Okay. It's a nice little battle here. The problem is all these snarls and these special defense boosts from him. And he was weak this policy this whole time. He was policy this whole time. So from here, I could, uh... I could Quake again. But he could actually hard swap into a Pokemon like Landris. Which could be a problem. At this point, I kind of just want to set Rain. I do kind of want to set Rain, but, uh... I'm going to start falling in this slot. The reason I'm start falling into the Alga slot is because uh, Umbreon, can, uh, Umbreon can protect here. Which I think he might do. I think he might do. I think he might do it. Let's see. I'm going to protect my turn test. Is he protecting anybody? He does protect. He protects the Alga. Wow. Wow. Are you protecting your boy too? Are you double down? He does not. Yo, Snarl comes out here and that's fine by me. It's fine by me. Hurts, man. That hurts that he protected the Alga there. That hurts that he protected the Alga. But this is a solid little battle here. Our opponent's making some great calls. Honestly, this uh, this what's called doing work. This Umbreon's doing work. It's in my head. He's protecting at good times. He's doing all a bunch of different stuff. He's just rolling through. He's just rolling through. Wish does come true. Eternatus does go first, and can Eternatus somehow take out the Alga? I need him to take out the Alga. Oh, uh, we could go for play rough. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hope that you can maybe take him out. So I go for Sludge Bomb. Dynamax Cannon does the most damage, but Sludge Bomb has a chance of poisoning. And we might need that chance of poisoning. But uh, it has no effect on the other. So yeah, Dynamax Cannon is a call. It's a call. It's a call. Can we get a crit? Can we do something here? Can we get something going here? Can we get something going here. Take him out, please. Dynamax Cannon, take him out. Because this thing's weakness policy is proc. Let's go. That's a big time KO. That's a big time KO. We get a crit. Let's go. Let's go. My boy turned his critting up here. That's huge. Umbreon's going to go first. Probably Snarl, right? 
Feeling strong. It's gonna start dropping special attack for my uh, Eternatus, and Azumarill's gonna have to start coming in clutch here. Azumarill, I need you here. I need you here, Azumarill. You're the goat. You're the goat. Play rough coming through here in the terrain too. How much damage are we doing? This thing's too bulky, man. I think it's a bulk Pokemon. We get the drop too. We get the attack drop, but and of course this thing's rocking a berry. This thing's ridiculously strong. Is that Citrus? I think that's gonna be kind of close for KO. That's gonna be kind of close for KO. We might want to double down on Umbreon, but he could protect. It really depends who he brings out here. Final Pokemon is going to be Lando. Lando's gonna come out here. So Lando comes out here, I can just Ice Punch it, and I could protect. Which might have to be my play. Ice Punch, protect, and then just worry about the Umbreon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Protect this boy all day. He cannot eat up no ground moves. Not a single ground move he can eat up. If we can rip this Ice Punch, take that thing out, I feel like if we 2v1 this uh, Umbreon, we can take it slow and maybe win this battle. So protect coming out for my turn. Just he's probably dropping EQ. He might protect Umbreon here too. He does no? He mm. sad face, sad face all day, and he wishes sad face all day, sad face all day. Tough news. The news is real tough. The news is real tough. The news is real tough. <laughs> Dang it, dude. We could just rip the net, Umbreon. All right, we're gonna send the ice punch again. Should we go for double protect? Maybe, maybe not. I'm just gonna go for Sludge Bomb in the slot. Look for a little bit of Poison Chip. If we can get it. Eternatus might go first. Oh my god, dude. This guy's reading me like a book. Reading me like a book today. Sludge Bomb's gonna get blocked. He's gotta be going for EQ here. Eternatus not gonna be able to eat that up. Azumarill should be able to. Oh no, it goes for Rock Slide. He Rock Slide instead. So as long as we don't get flinch, I feel like we could be thriving in this battle. Ice Punch comes in hot. Yes, sir. Bill, see you later. Cool. It's a good turn. That's a good turn. It's a great turn for us. It's a great turn for us. His wish comes true, but we're going to start ripping with damage. Let's start ripping into this thing. Sludge bombs, play roughs all day. This Umbreon's been here day one. Umbreon's been here day one. It came out here beginning of the battle, and it has been ripping. He's just so bulky. Umbreon's incredibly strong. It's so strong. Sludge bombs can come out. Give him the poison. No poison. We're looking for it for the chip damage. He's going to be able to snarl first. That's fine. And uh, Zumrell soaks that up. But the problem is, like, he turns his... It actually affects him. But it doesn't affect the Tomb Raider, which is great. Because we're really just looking for poisons at this point. Because that thing's plus two on special defense. It's doing some work. We're chipping up some damage now. We're getting after him. Play Rough comes out again. We're going to go for the poison again. We're just going to keep ripping and slowly trying to win this battle. Which I think we do have. It's going to be kind of close. This thing's got to be Brock and Foul Play too, right? Give me a poison. No poison yet. No poison yet. He's going to go for the Wish. And he's going to protect next turn. Is there anything I can do, like, bulk stats or anything? Or you can just give me the crit here with this player off. Or that works. There you go. Is that a crit? No, it wasn't. So, Azumarill takes him out. He tries getting a wish at the end. And we go 2-0. And, oh, and we guarantee ourselves a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we are tearing it up with Azumarill. It's clutching up in the first battle. And it clutched up in the second battle. And granted us two wins. But we're looking for that perfect record. We're going up against a pretty cool Reshiram. And Zacian team with Urshifu, Grimmsnarl, G-Max, Lapras, and then Incineroar. Who we might end up leading. Cinema. That could be scary, but I think Calyx is a solid lead all around. Right? Calyx is just not bad. We could go Wimscott too because we can taunt. We could Tailwind. I mean, he could probably fake me out because we don't have Protect on this thing. Right? We don't have Protect. Let me check. We do not. I was correct. Jeans was correct. So, uh, he, I think he's going to lead in Cinema. I really do. I really do think he's going to lead in Cinema, which leads me to want to lead like both of these guys. I kind of dig both of these guys. Sableye and Calyx. Plus, we haven't used Sableye yet. I'm with it. We'll bring Eternity. And I think we just bring Regilecki. I think Regilecki and Eternity could be phenomenal. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But uh, I wonder who he's going to lead. I feel like he has a bunch of different options. I feel like Incineroar is going to come in here. But if he leads Incineroar, we got two ghost types on the field. Fake out is not happening. It's just not happening. It's not in our vocabulary at this point. <laughs> but let's see who he ends up leading. Bring it on, dude. Bring it on. So he ends up leading the Reg Ram and Grimstone. Uh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad for us. I mean, I'm thinking of just tricking it, right? I'm thinking of just throwing a nice little trick out here. He might Dynamax it, and then we just Astro Barrage and get after it. I just like that play all day. Just a solid play. Real solid play for us. He could protect the rest of but it might happen. It might happen, but I'm going to send it. I'm sending it his way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Astro Barrage and a trick. Run it up. Run it up, baby. Dynamax. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Do not max guard. Please do not max guard. Please do not max card. This could be one of the biggest first turns we had. 
If he does not max guard, oh my god, we're sending a trick right to it. We're gonna say, get on out of here, we're gonna inject by now. There's no way he's max guarded, right? He would have just protected. He would just protect because he knew I'm not dying to max any of these Pokemon. Let's see what he does. Let's see how some plays. He's gonna trick me. Is he giving me an eject button? What's he doing? What's he doing? He gives me an eject button. I'm giving him an eject button. <laughs> and Kyle's gonna go first. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. See you later. <laughs> we were both going for the eject button play. I love it. Cool. We'll say see you to him. I'm with it all day. See you, dude. Dynamax is gone. Great turn for us. Great turn for us. But he took my spell tag. How dare you take my spell tag like that? How dare you take my spell tag? That's hilarious. I thought he was going to give me the Iron Ball. That would have been a great play for him. If he would have gave me the Iron Ball, and Calyx wouldn't have went. You know, uh, what's called would have went first. Rush Ram. He would just take me out. He's going to end up going Urshfu. Uh, probably Rocket Sucker Punch, right? Probably Rocket Sucker Punch. Uh, that's how I switch now. Oh, we're... Wait. Oh, he gave me... Wait, what? Oh, he had a Soul Fest. I... No! I can only use Foul Play now? That sucks. That's awful. Uh, I need an item. I need an item. I can't even trick, dude. <laughs> I can't even trick. All right. You're out, you're out for dumps, dude. We're just going to go into Urshfu here. I kind of just want to hard swap him. He's sucker punching. Could you go in like he turns or something? I'm just going to protect. Let's see what he's budging. Oh, no, wait. I guess I'll protect. That was awful play. Urshfu hits through protects. Oh, sweet Astro Blast. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So he wasn't sucker punching. That was better than protect. He's definitely going for a wicked ball to take me out. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll say bye-bye to Calyrex. Calyrex, see you later, buddy. The Calyrex drops out here. It's guaranteed crit. Thank God I didn't protect. Thank God I, 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 the time, thank God the time at least just like ran out there and let us at least go for an Astrobosh. He goes for a spear break, which we should be able to eat up. And it stinks that we, that we couldn't even go for a trick and take an item back. The foul play is going to have to roll here. It's good that he doesn't have Dynamax. Foul play is going to chip up just a little bit of damage. Just here, pass turn. And then I should go in the Regilac and Dynamax. Right? Why am I playing? Or I could just go straight into Eternatus and start Sludge Bombing. I ain't too shabby. Kind of with it. Kind of with it. We'll get rid of Grimstone. We'll save our Dynamax for that Regilac. Or for our Regilac. Get some work done. Then we can get Thriving here. Dude, I would love to have Save Live without this Assault Fest right now. He can just do some absolute work. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to drop a Sludge Bomb across on this route. We're going to get rolling from there. I think it turns to should be fast on the field, right? Unless he goes for a prank suit. But uh, I think he's faster than Urshifu. Just by, just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. But dude, Save Live. Come on, man. I need you. <laughs> I need the Soul Fest. That would have been a great little hard swap for us. He's going to end up Thunder Waving. How dare you? How dare you do that to me? Please leave me alone. He's gonna end up going for a wicked blow. Can you take out my Sableye, please? He's really doing nothing here. He's doing absolutely nothing. Thank you. See you, Sableye. And now I just need my turn just to land a Sludge Bomb. If he can land a Sludge Bomb, we could be thriving with this battle. Thank you. See you later, Grimstrong. He has no screen setup, which is great for us. It's a huge benefit. For us. The Sludge Bomb takes him out. I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing my, uh... I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing my, uh... Regilecki and... I wonder if he goes in the... He's got to go in the res ram here, right? He's got to go in the res ram and look for a dragon move. And I might just protect my Eternatus and then roll into a Max Lightning to take out the Urshifu. The Urshi Ursh. The Urshi Ursh. Is he going into Reggie? Is this Reggie? It's going to be sassy. Not that, and I don't like that one, but... I do not like that. I do have Focus Ash, but I have to get after Zassian, right? I have to get after Zassian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Max Lightning into Zassian, and I'm going to go for... A, I'm going to go for... Which one does more damage? This one does. So I'm going to do this, and then I have to go after, like... I have to go after Urshfu, right? Take him out. Yeah. Max Lightning might not take out the Zassian. Probably doesn't take out the Zassian, but still. I just don't want Zassian protecting it, and then us just doubling down into it. Because not, that's nothing's worse than that. And when you double down to a Pokemon, they just put up, put up the little shield. You're like, oh, come on. Man, you're like, come on, man. I just wasted my turn. I just wasted my turn. But yeah, we're going to Dynamax here. We have to. We have to. We have to. 
But dude, we had like, such a good first start. We got rid of his Dynamax, and our opponent still might beat us here. But it's because of this that Sableye. We took that to Soul Fest, and Sableye could have came in so clutch. I would have ally switched, I would have dodged a few moves. Calyx would have been chipping off some damage. It could have been great. It could have been real good. So let's see. He, he does end up protecting Zacian. So that's why exactly why I didn't double down into him. He's gonna go for Sucker Punch. That's totally fine. And uh, we can eat up another Sucker Punch, which is gorgeous. Lenny's gonna fly out here. Chip up some damage, and another Lightning might be able to KO that. Because now we have the, 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 that terrain. Which is really, really good for us. And please, please do not be paralyzed. If we're not paralyzed here, it's such a good turn for us. Oh my god, dude! This game, man. This game. You should be dead. You should be dead over here. You should be dead! Of course, I should just stop speaking whenever there's a problem. Because every time I say something like that, like, hopefully we're not paralyzed here. Or if we're not paralyzed here, we win this game. Oh, dude, he's just killed us. He just killed us. What a play. Oh, he does not go for Sucker Punch. Does not go for Sucker Punch. That's impressive. It's wild. He did not go for Sucker Punch. Go after my turn, just please. Do not go after my Reg like I need him. Oh, Reg like he's gone. That hurts his soul. That's his soul. Oh, we got a crit. Oh, no, that's, that's guaranteed. But yeah, I mean, he could have went to a Sucker Punch and a Quick Attack and picked up the KO. He could have did that. Can he not be paralyzed this turn? See, every time I ask for it, we're paralyzed. You should be dead. And then Reshiram should have came out here. And I think Reshiram would have one shot us. But still. But still, if, just think. If Urshifu it was dead, it would have been a 2v1. It would have been 2v1. It would have been a 2v1 situation here. would have been 2v1. I'm still going to send this one out here. I just want to see if uh, maybe he would have missed an attack or something. And we would have won this battle. But yeah, he's just going to drop a Draco Meteor, isn't he? Wicked Blow comes out here. I think we eat up the Wicked Blow. Yeah, we eat up the Wicked Blow. And then he would have rolled into an Earth Power, which would have killed us. I'm surprised he didn't just go for a Dragon Move. I'm surprised. But yeah, one Earth Power might not have killed us. So it definitely would have been kind of close. But hey, 2-1 for today's video. We'll take that winning record all day. Azumarill just dominates up against Series 12. We take that 2-1 record all day, and we get to show off Azumarill to its fullest potential. It was great in its Dynamax form. It was great without Dynamax form, and its moveset is just incredible with that Assault Fest. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.